Around the nation, different states and employers are telling workers they must be vaccinated against COVID-19 if they want to keep working. Is it legal? Today, the full bench of the Fair Work Commission said yes, upholding the dismissal of an aged care worker let go when they wouldn't have the jab. The majority decision said they didn't intend to encourage spurious objections to lawful workplace vaccination requirements. Looking around the globe, oil prices are at three-year highs. If you want to buy a barrel of Brent crude, it'll cost you around 80 US dollars. Many analysts seeing that price back at $90 as demand grows. But there might be some more purchasing power, with the value of the Aussie dollar rising against all major currencies in trading today. There was a mixed lead from global markets, but on ours, things were looking up. There's a takeover tussle for the company behind pharmacy chains Priceline and Sol Patterson. Wes Farmers, who own Bunnings and Officeworks, put in a $760 million bid. But Sigma Healthcare, who have the Amcal and Guardian brands, wanted two. Share prices of all of them are loving the attention. And new data shows we spent $50 billion on online retail in the 12 months to August. Most of it replacing tracksuit pants worn out from the lockdowns. This graph shows the growth. Now, for every $100 spent on retail, $14 is spent online. Still a lot of room to go higher. The UK has a bigger population on a smaller island. For every $100 there, $25 is spent online. And that's finance.